Today we're going to talk about this micro hydro unit. Homerpower.com is our website. We build these units to be totally portable and all you need to do is add water and batteries and you can have electricity anywhere as long as you have a proper flow of water. This particular application which is the unit that is used on the Discovery Channel's Homestead Rescue, this very unit, and we set it up with a dam in the creek and about 600 feet of pipe, and we have about 150 feet of drop, so we're running about 75 PSI on the water supply. This unit comes completely self-contained, so it has an inverter which inverts DC power into AC power, and you've got a battery shut off for your batteries. The way this works is you can just have, a, you don't have to hardwire it to your house, you can just have a uh, cord, and we have a plug-in set up here with a cord, and you can put a transfer switch on your house. This is actually UL listed. You can see the UL listing here, and that means that it can be grid tied to a regular household system. So even if you live in the city or you live in the country and you have electricity to coming to your house grid tie, you can still run off of this because of the fact that it is UL listed and you can tie it into your system of your house. It's uh, a great thing because if, even if you're grid tied, you can still lower your electric bill because Unlike solar or wind, this runs 24 hours a day if you have the proper amount of water. So therefore, you can, even a small amount of energy on a 24 hour basis ends up building up to be quite a bit. It partially depends on what size system you have, as to how many batteries you can have, as to how much you, load you can run off of it. In other words, uh, what appliances and uh, what things in your household you can run. The versatility of it is just fantastic. Now it runs the water in and we have the uh, water line running in right here and it runs into the hydro unit which is on the other side of the inverter here and it spins the hydro unit, the water splashes down into the tank and then from the tank we have a return line which is a three inch so this tank never fills up with water completely. And then that runs right back out and the stream that is providing the water for this unit is right behind this garage. So it just dumps it back into the creek. So you're using the water, you're not affecting it in any way, shape or form other than you're uh, taking all the head pressure away. The only thing that we don't provide is the water lines and we don't provide the batteries. Basically, you, you get the whole unit just like it is, minus the water lines and the batteries. And uh, once you run water to it and you have your battery bank on it, then uh, plug into it and you're ready to produce electricity.